Okay, so in this video, we will review simple properties of the derivative. So we've seen in the previous video the definition of the derivative and the property that the derivative of a single constant is equal to zero. Now we'll look at the properties of the power rule and of the derivative over a sum and difference of functions. So if I look at the derivative, say, with respect to x, of the function 2 times x to the 4. Now here, 2 is not alone. It is a scalar multiple of x to the 4. And if you remember, when you differentiate a scalar multiple of a function, the scalar multiple just stays there. So it will be 2 times and the derivative of x to the 4 with respect to x. Power rule says bring the exponent down and subtract 1 to the new exponent. 4 minus 1 is 3. And in the end, you're left with 8x cubed. If we had the derivative with respect to x of 6 root of x, again, we wish to use the power rule. So we replace the square root by an exponent of 1 half. 6 being a scalar multiple stays there. We bring the exponent down, 1 half, times x to the 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. And in the end, 6 over 2 is 3. And if you want, you can send this term down as over x to the positive 1 half, which is the same as 3 over root of x. If you take the derivative, so now with respect to t of 6, t to the 7, the same rule applies, right? The choice of x here is an arbitrary choice. So we could change x by any other variable. Here we have picked t. 6 stays there as a constant multiple, power rule, we bring the exponent down, t to the 7 minus 1, t to the 6, and 6 times 7 is 42, so 42 t to the 6. And that's it. Now, what about the derivative over a sum and or difference of functions? So let's look at this example. The derivative, say with respect to x of 4x cubed, minus 6 over x squared, minus 4 cube root of x. Well, the first step is to rewrite the second and third term in a different way so that we can use the power rule. So this would be the derivative of 4x cubed stays 4x cubed, minus 6. Now if you bring 1 over x squared back up, it becomes an x to the negative 2, negative 4, and the cube root of x, of course, is x to the positive one-third, and now we're good to go. The derivative of 4x cubed will be 12x squared minus, although here this will be a plus, negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12, x to the negative 3, power rule, minus 4 thirds, x to the one-third minus 1, negative 2 thirds. And that's it. What if we had now the following example? So we'll differentiate with respect to y the following function of y. So say 5y squared minus 2y plus 3 over y. Well, naturally here, the simplest way of differentiating this function is to divide through each term by y. So 5y squared over y is 5y minus 2y over y is minus 2, plus 3 over y, right, 1 over y is y to the negative 1. The derivative of 5y with respect to y is 5, minus the derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0, plus the derivative of 3 times y to the negative 1, power rule, negative 1 times 3, negative 3, to the y minus 1 minus 1, negative 2, and of course you can write this as 5 minus 3, over y squared. So that's it. Reviewing the power rule and the fact that the derivative of a sum or difference of functions is the sum difference of the individual derivatives. And always keep in mind, we can differentiate with respect to any variable. So the power rule applies with whether it's with x, t, y, or any other variable.